Now this is a wind turbine. Can you tell us how it works and, and what are the key differences from typical wind turbines? Well, with typical wind turbines, they have them in the nestles here. They have the gearbox, and this is that, what's called the root of the blades. And then they have the gearbox, and they have the electric generator. Right. And that's where the resistance is in the gearbox. So what we did to go, really specifically to go for low wind regimes, you know, way down to even below two miles an hour, we removed the gearbox and we removed the wind generator. We put at the rim, which travels for a given RPM, the rim travels about nine times faster than the area near the, near the, near the hub. We put the magnets, which you cannot see here, and also the stators. Power in the night. So the, and we, the blades are supported in this fashion. Okay, so, the, so, the, so unlike a normal turbine where all the, all the uh, generation happens in the middle, it actually happens on the edges. Correct. Okay. You have the advantage of the speed and at the, at the rim, you know, you don't need the gearbox. And therefore, with the optimized uh, design of the blades, you can actually get very low wind reaction of this turbine. So why is low wind so important? Why did you make that kind of essential design? Because wind blows when it blows, okay? <laughs> and typically, the Department of Energy classifies wind in seven categories in the United States, and uh, they, they don't, uh, uh, there's no such thing as an average wind. So as a result, wind blows. Uh, um, one mile an hour, and about maybe five miles an hour, seven percent of the time during the year. Uh, Twelve miles an hour, uh, maybe around thirteen percent of the time, and about thirty miles an hour is about one or under one percent of the time. So you have to cover all the ranges of, of the sort of the wind speed, and the percent of time the wind is at that speed. And these wind turbines should be very responsive to the entire wind regime. And that's why we most, if not all, wind turbines start at seven miles an hour, therefore they have zero output between zero and seven miles an hour, and they, at seven miles an hour, they just begin to generate five, 10 watts all the way up to their rated power, 30 miles per hour. Okay. This one starts all the way from uh, one or two miles an hour all the way to 35, 40 miles an hour. So if, if I wanted to have a wind in my home, then w when would this make sense? I'd, need, I'd still need certain conditions for me yes. to have wind at home, right? But Yes, you see certain conditions. I, again, you put on the, this is rooftop mounted, it's lightweight, and what you really need is some wind. So the higher the better, but uh, you must always have some wind flow. Mm -hmm. But therefore you must choose a technology that can respond at the lowest wind speed possible. <laughs> okay. Otherwise, right. it's not good for the investment. This is what you call a homemade wind tunnel. It's transportable as well. From the other side, here's the wind tunnel. On the outside is the turbine, which is a prototype, really. Actually, it's not really a prototype, it's a testing version. And it's spinning very quickly, as you can see. Estimated about 100 revolutions per minute. And the blades are made out of nylon, shaped a particular way. After the fan is off, it's still spinning for, for a while. So it's just like a big bicycle wheel, but the so sort of there's weight at the end of the blades, right? And right. that's what creates the momentum to yeah, keep it going. creating momentum. It acts like a flywheel with the weights at the, out at the blade tips. 